In this video, I would like to show you how to create your own basic action and then play it on other images. And so I've opened an image here, and I'm going to apply some edits to it that I think that I want to apply to a series of images, or I may want to apply in the future. And so I'm going to start my editing process, but in order to record the action so that I can play it on another image in the future, I need to make sure that it is being added to an action set. And I would recommend not adding it to one of the existing action sets that are in Photoshop, because if you hit restore to default, you'll lose anything that you created. And so I'm going to create a new uh, action set via the folder icon at the bottom of the actions panel. I'm going to title it JC Custom Actions and then select OK. And then any new actions that I create for my own personal use, I'm going to store them inside here. Now that I have my own action set, I can use the new action button, which looks like a little piece of paper with the corner turned up, to start my new action. The new action dialog box launches and you can name your action and I'm going to put funny filters on as my name because that's what I plan to apply to the image. I'm not going to choose a function key. I don't use actions enough to memorize them and I'm definitely not going to use this funny filters one enough. But you could. You could say that every time you use um, shift F5 it will activate this action. Um, I'm not going to use it enough to warrant that so I'll put it as none. And then I like to color code things. So maybe I'll choose yellow as the color that you will see my action as when you change the actions panel to button mode. And now we can record. And so you'll notice that when I hit the record button inside the action dialog, the record button on the actions panel has automatically started. I could have launched that from here. If I just hit record, it'll start recording the action. And so now anything that I do will be saved in the action. And I'm going to try to make changes that would be applicable to all images and not just images that are the size or the subject. And so one thing I really like to do is I like to do levels adjustments. And so I'm going to do a levels adjustment layer. On the levels adjustment, I'm just simply going to drag in the sliders a little bit to the left and a little bit to the right and then slide my midtones until I get what I feel is a more pleasing composition. Uh, I like to apply gradient maps. I think they're fun. And so I'm going to apply another adjustment layer that is a gradient map. Not gradient. Gradient applies a color. Like if I grabbed gradient here and I chose this color here, it applies a color. But I don't want that. I want to choose gradient map because if I choose the same gradient that we just chose, see how it kind of does funky cool things with the image? And so from here I can choose the, the gradient map that I like. Maybe it's this one. You can reverse it if you don't like it. That doesn't look good so I'll switch it back. Uh, we could even apply filters if we wanted to. And So I'm going to duplicate my original layer and I'm going to convert it to be a smart object because if you apply a filter to a smart object it becomes a smart filter and if you go to the filter menu I'll go to the filter gallery and then maybe we can apply some cool funky effects maybe underpainting I kinda like the underpainting one let's apply the underpainting filter but uh, it's a little bit too distracting and so I'm going to lower the opacity just a little bit so you get kind of a little bit of a texture, kind of a glow to the picture and we'll call this done. And so now that I have all the steps in my action um, recorded, I will stop the recording by using the square icon and then now my action has been saved. I'm not recording, I could do other things now but it doesn't count towards the action. If you look closely in my folder that says JC Current Custom Actions, I have a funny filter um, action and then all the steps that I did to apply that. Now maybe after I did this I, I don't like the title anymore. You can rename your action, right? And so I could rename this orange, purple, glow. And so now I have a better description of what I should expect to see in future images. 
if I open a new image, so let's go back, let's open up that image that I had for the previous video of the mountains. So with this image open, because I'm in my Photoshop, and in my Photoshop I've saved this action, I can select the action that I want to apply and hit the play button. And then it will repeat all the steps that I just did on the statue and apply it to this image here. And it's a different image, a different subject matter, but it still applied all the same effects. I would like you to practice creating your own custom action by doing something cool and funky like this. Try to stay away from changing file formats or cropping until you feel more comfortable that your action is actually going to do what it should do.